Zoe here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about meditation and I'm going to be letting you know about four different ways that I meditate in my daily life, hopefully to give you some inspiration and tips. So let's get started. All right, so the first form of meditation I want to talk to you guys about is positive visualization meditation. That's what I like to call it anyways and this is the time when I freely allow myself to be creative in designing the future that I want, whether this be future holidays, future successes, future love, anything like that, I take the time to get quiet. You can either sit down, lie down, however you feel, you'll relax and start to play out as if it were a movie what you wish to happen in the future. And I'm just gonna give you the example of going on a holiday with a significant other. Let's say you're going on a holiday with a significant other to an island in Greece and you're visualizing this in your mind, really take the time to add all different types of layers to it. The smells you're gonna smell, the, the sun on your skin, the clothes you'll wear, any extra details you can add to the scenario, this positive visualization, will help it to manifest in your future. And as we know, the more and more that we can attach emotions to our visualizations, the faster they're going to manifest. So by attaching feelings and really acting as if we were in that moment in our minds, that's how it will be brought to us much faster. So like I said, this one's one of my favorites because I find it really fun. I like to do it before I go to bed, I'm just lying down to go to sleep, and it's very positive to do something like this before you go to sleep because while you're sleeping, it's all about your subconscious brain. So if you can program it before you go to sleep for positive thoughts, happy feelings inside of you, joy and bliss, you're gonna be going to sleep and manifesting that throughout the six, eight, 12 hours that you are asleep. And the next type of meditation I wanna to talk to you guys about is a self-healing meditation. This one is probably the most powerful form of meditation because it all has to do with your power within and how you can heal yourself from any pain or discomfort that's going on in your in your outside world and your inside world as well. I first wanna let you guys know about a couple of tools that I use before I do a type of meditation like this. And often I will have candles just to set the tone of a relaxed tone to the evening. I also really like to use sage and this is used to cleanse the space. So these are smudge sticks and what you do is you take them out and you light the ends of them and they just kind of create this like very calming smoke and it's really meant to, to cleanse the energy to allow you to focus. And I will also use some type of like essential oil to get myself grounded, to get myself just feeling relaxed. The more and more you can relax prior to a meditation, especially one that you're really focusing on releasing any negativity, you're really trying to heal yourself, the more grounded, the more relaxed you can feel in your body, the better this is going to work for you. So when doing a healing meditation, this is something that was introduced to me by my friend Manisha. What you wanna do is that when you do have the opportunity to sit in silence, to lie in silence, if there's something bothering you in your life, like let's say you are going through a breakup and you're just feeling tense, you're just not feeling yourself, and you really wanna heal that within you, take the time to locate the part of your body that's feeling tight, that's feeling discomfort. Like in your physical body, where is that coming from? For example, for me, a lot of the times I hold tightness in my chest or I hold tightness in my stomach. So I'm going through this meditation. What I like to do is imagine myself going through my body and the part of the body that's in suffering, that's in pain, what I do is I like to put my hands over it and I like to visualize all of those emotions, all of the negativity, all of the heaviness, the tightness leaving my body and like putting it into my hands and allowing it to flow out. Allowing the pain, the discomfort to leave my physical body. Because what we don't know is that when we go through hard times, we suppress a lot of emotions and we have to give them the opportunity to leave. So a healing meditation is very powerful for this because we are actively choosing to locate what it is in ourselves that we don't want anymore. Like we don't want pain, we don't want suffering, we don't want sadness, we don't want grief, nothing like that. So locate in your body where you feel a tightness, where you feel a heaviness, where you feel any type of discomfort. Really harness that, just visualize it leaving you. Like I said, I like to put my hands over that space in my body and visualize it all of the emotions coming into my hands and letting them go. And I promise you, the more and more you can do this in your everyday life and recognize each day or every couple days like where you feel any kind of tenseness in your body, 
the more and more light and uplifted you're going to feel on a daily basis. I find that this one is probably the most important form of meditation. Now the next form of meditation I want to tell you guys about is a sleep meditation. So like I mentioned previously, before you go to sleep, if you can program your mind to feel positive, feel abundant, that's the way that you're going to spend the next like 8 to 12 hours that you're sleeping. So there is an actual sleep meditation recording that I like to listen to through Audible and it's called the Sleep Learning System. I've mentioned this before in my Manifesting Money series because this is an audio program that plays and it, it helps put you to sleep, it helps put you into a relaxed state to sleep and then I just let it play out until you know morning it's a few hours long and it's a mix between voices positive tones a little bit of music and it's to program your subconscious mind to attract abundance so I have listened to this for a few years now not every night of course but I've had amazing results when I listen to it consistently so I'll be sure to leave that down below but there's also tons of other sleep meditations that you can listen to. There's a lot on YouTube. So if there's anything specific that you're trying to manifest, maybe you want to come in contact with your spirit guides while you're dreaming, maybe you want to manifest love while you're dreaming, just type in YouTube and look for these type of sleep meditations and just allow them to play out while you fall asleep at night. And I promise you, it can be extremely powerful. And lastly, the other form of meditation I want to talk about is one that you might not be expecting me to talk about. And it's meditation in the form of doing something that you love that allows you to be fully in the present moment. So for me, I'm really enjoying rollerblading these days. And when I'm rollerblading, I just listen to positive music or an audiobook and I really get into that flow state. And I used to achieve this while I was running or even just walking around the city by myself. If I allow some positive instrumental music, any type of spiritual music. I have a lot of playlists on Spotify, so I'll, I'll link my Spotify account down below if you guys are curious. But I really just allow myself to fully live in the present. And I consider this meditation because I'm allowing other parts of my brain to just process information. I'm just fully being present and I'm allowing everything to manifest in my life that's meant to manifest. I'm relaxing, I am finding joy in the simplicity of things, I'm just really allowing flow to happen. And I think that's a lot of the times it can be hard for us to achieve because we go day by day feeling so busy that it's hard for us to get into that relaxed state. But if you can do something, like whether it's running, walking, uh, walking through nature especially, and just feel very present, then you're allowing healing to happen all throughout your body and your mind. Anyways guys, I hope that this video helped you find a form of meditation that you would like to try. Let me know down below if there's one that I didn't mention that you like to partake in or the one that you're looking forward to trying the most. And I'm looking forward to hearing about all your results as well. So be sure to leave me a comment down below, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!